Hi Pisces, welcome to your May 2020 week two reading. Just giving the cards a few shuffles to get your energies for this time. Please feel free to like, subscribe and share. It is very much appreciated. After all, it is you, 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 the viewers that keeps this channel floating. I very, very much appreciate everything from you. If you'd like a more personal reading, the email link is below. That's enough of that chit chat. Let's get on with this. Here we go. Just have a few more shuffles, see where we're going with this. card wanted to come out it is the nine of pentacles you're feeling very much alive in your present situation for it's it's like a good comfort zone you're in despite everything that's happening you're kind of feeling good about yourself you're putting a lot of effort into your appearance and the way people are seeing you is one of confidence kind of very, very loving and nurturing. It's very, very nice energy. It's kind of a minor arcana version of the Empress, this this card. Hmm, interesting. The situation between you is the four of wands, and I'm not surprised. Stability, commitment is here. You're acting very, very independently and successfully, but you're also very, very committed. It's fairly mature energy here. Four of Wands is quite often called the 11-11 card. It's, it's balance, commitments. Some tarot readers call it the marriage card. For some of you, that might very well be true. There may be a proposal here. Let's see what their energy is. They're certainly changing their view on life. The hangman. They may on the surface not be committing much. But the, the situation between you is pretty stable and it's pretty even. And there is some independence between you. I like this reading. There is a new opportunity manifesting. This is the hidden energies. And it's sitting directly under the four of wands. So this is influenced the situation. Whatever it is that's going on between you two, communication wise, it's creating a whole new atmosphere in the situation. And they're certainly looking on the situation very, very differently to what they did six months ago. In the recent past, you've got the Ten of Swords. Tens to me are endings of cycles. They're like the world card in the Major Arcana. This is tough times. Sword energy, it's... It's a feeling of isolation. It's a feeling of arguments. It's a feeling of, well, feeling backstabbed, disappointed, disillusioned. But it's it's ending. That cycle is ending in the re has ended, or it will end very very quickly. And you you're coming out of it very very confident. Maybe you've taken time out from this situation, from them. And this is forcing them to realise and think of you very, very differently. 
Hmm, interesting. Near future. There is some reward here. The High Priestess, that's spiritual reward. It's not, it's the feeling of well being. The High Priestess is renowned for being well connected, switched on, tuned into the universe, following her intuition, learnt the lessons. But there is also some secrets here, things that's not, that's at the moment hidden, it's not yet manifested. So whatever this new start, this opportunity, this offer, whatever it means for you, it's not yet materialised, but it's about to come into play. Potential outcome is the Eight of Swords. This is a feeling of, this is, for me, means delays, isolation, not apathy, but running things around in, in your head. And after this, it's not surprising because we all tend to think on the past and base future decisions on on what's happened in the past. Sometimes too much mental energy. And with the High Priestess here, I feel this is follow your intuition, follow your gut instinct. Don't get into this energy. Try and stay out of it because once you start going things over in your head, it could it could not force you, but it could entice you into making wrong decisions. I will clarify these cards. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. The Empress on top of the night. Yeah, you're learning to love yourself. You're putting yourself first. You're nurturing yourself. And I feel before you put them first. Didn't do any good. And they're thinking, ah, oh, where's my Pisces? They've changed. And because you're loving yourself and nurturing yourself, it's stabilising the situation. And they're looking on you very, very differently now. You're not, ch I don't know what's happened in the past or your personal situation for that I'd need a personal reading, but in general terms, I feel that you chase them and put them first and they thought, I'll just take them for a bit of a fall and take them for a ride. And they trampled all over you. And you said, no, I'm going to look after me. And that's forced them to rethink. Yeah, you see, you walked away from the situation. You could have even left it physically. I'm going to put one more card on this Eight of Cups. You certainly became dissatisfied with the situation and disconnected. Yeah, I feel there was three people in this equation. Three of Cups. They're having to think twice now. I feel they're having to make a choice. Do they want you back? What's this Eight of Cups all about, please? Yeah, you followed your higher self and you took this sword and you cut clear of this situation. I'm not going to chase you anymore. I'm disconnecting and that's what's happened. And now they're having to reevaluate and I feel they want a reunion. Let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is all about. Yeah, it's going to bring in stability. King of Pentacles. 
whatever has happened in the past, I feel that they have matured. And so have you. You think a lot about yourself at the moment and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, this, this, in the recent past, this waiting, being fed breadcrumbs, not being emotionally and your needs being met in the full sense. This is only a seven. And I feel you, this this one at your feet, here, yeah, this pentacle, you, you took whatever it is and took what you could out of the situation, cut your losses and went walkabouts. Let's see what this high priestess is all about. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. And Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. There's going to be a turnaround of events here. Could well be you're going to get some practical advice. Maybe off one of your friends. But somebody's going to come in and... Give you some practical advice here. And not only can you go on your gut feeling, you can also weigh up the pros and cons on the practical side. But the Wheel of Fortune is the destiny card and it will set you on a new path. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. After some long thoughts, somebody's going to make an offer. Express love. But you, this could be you, this could be them. And you're saying, no, I don't want any of it. See, the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. I'm just going to pull one more card for this Page of Cups. Yeah, they're going to offer you stability. They're going to offer you, you, you it all. I'm going to pull you some cards from the art. Oh, that one jumped out quick. A leg up. Yeah, it's, I think in the near future, somebody's going to offer you some practical advice and like give you a helping hand. It could even be a practical gift. But either way, it will help you. Yeah, wisdom. So whatever, whatever you've gone through has made you wise to the event, you're going to nurture yourself or you are nurturing yourself and you're going to move forward in a much more different attitude and self-awareness. Things may look calm on the surface, but believe me, there's a lot going on underneath underneath the surface of the situation. Yeah, but don't let pride get in your way. I feel when they come back, don't let arrogance and pride get in your way. Base your decisions on practicality, your instinct, your higher self, Try to look at the big picture. I'm just going to pull you one more card. Yeah, there's some big happy changes coming. This is very, very nice reading. The bottom of the deck I just thought I would show you is the situation will improve. So this new love and opinion of yourself and your pride be proud but don't let it hold you back don't let it get in your way on that note i'm going to leave it i wish you the very best we'll see you again soon i hope bye for now